Engineering 305, week 9 quiz solution. Some of you in class asked for it. You get it. Um, assuming that I'm using steel to transmit 2.5 horsepower from my lawn mower engine to my mower blades at 2,000 RPM. There's a lot of key information right there. Um, I've got the power. I can't really do that in rainbow pen. Power is equal to 2.5 horsepower. And I've got my speed is equal to 2,000 RPM. All right. Now, um, the shaft is steel. What should the minimum diameter of the stat shaft be so that I have a factor of safety of three? And then um, I've got some material properties that are showing up. My my allowable shear stress. Okay, that didn't copy quite as well, but that's that's all right. My allowable shear stress. Shear is equal to um, allowable is twelve thousand. PSI. I've got a safety factor equal to three. Um, I've got a conversion rate in there between horsepower and feet per second. All right, so I got to start thinking through a process. Well, my shear stress, I, I got this equation. Uh, I'm going to change into equation pen. My shear stress is equal to T. C over J and that's gonna tell me kind of what I need to know except I don't know I don't know um, I don't know this is just geometry I'm solving for that um, so this must be a known and then this also has to be a known but that gets to, I've got another equation, power is equal to torque times speed. And so I have to solve it based on these other pieces of information or torque is equal to power divided by speed. And now I can start going to work. And and then I'm and then one more thing I got to deal with in here is there's the safety factor. All right. Let's find torque. Let's find torque. All right. I'm looking at the camera. I'm supposed to look at the camera every once in a while. I said I just focus on my uh, my piece of paper, but no. let's find the torque. Torque is equal to power, 2.5 horsepower divided by 2,000 RPM. Now, of course, those units just stink. Stink. Let's start working through it. So, a horsepower, I gave you the conversion. Foot pounds per second. Maybe that's not the uh, best conversion, but it's a conversion. One horsepower is 550 foot pounds per second. So, that would be one horsepower is equal to 550 foot pounds per second. Okay, does that give me what I need? No, I can cross out horsepower. The problem is, is I'm in RPM, so that's minutes. It's per minute, it's revolutions per minute. So the first thing is I've got, I've got revolutions on the bottom. So I've got a revolution. Uh, let me get back to black. A revolution is equal to two pi radians. And then I've got a per minute, per minute. Oh, I wonder if I have a conference. I some, oh, Somebody just pinged me. Hold on one second. All right, I got interrupted for a long time. I had two meetings in there, and now I got 10 minutes till my next meeting. But we're going to continue this torque expression. So I started out with 2.5 horsepower divided by 2,000 RPM. So it was power divided by speed was equal to that torque. And now I'm just doing unit conversion. So horsepower... And I got a foot pound per second where I've got RPM is per minute. So actually that's like the it's it's maybe I want to rewrite this to be revs 
per minute and so minute goes up on the top and then I can put one minute down here is equal to 60 seconds and so now if I start looking see it's just a busy day so my horsepower is canceled out my revolutions canceled out my minutes canceled out my seconds are on top here they're on bottom there so that is going to give me my units are now in foot pounds and my head's in the way i know that so let me um, slide that up and now i just have to multiply this all out and that's um 2.5 2000 550 2 pi 60 and the units are foot pounds all right i gotta grab a trusty dusty calculator i'm pausing you sorry i started lecturing before i turned the pause back off i put the torque equals all of that equals and then i ran my calculator and i got 6.57 um there's some round off there foot pounds but here's the problem i'm going to take this answer right to where this plugs in is shear is equal to tc over j and this whole thing i want to be in inches as units right and and so i'm just going to take this right here and say well instead of foot pounds then i've got uh times 12 equals 78.82 inch pounds all right then i've got my allowable stress well there's a safety factor there's a safety factor so it's really t allowable over my safety factor was three. Oh, i can't find it i can't find it oh there you go i want a safety factor of three is the shear stress is the torque allowable over three so that's 4000 psi is equal to tc over j and so now we start rewriting this and so it's j over c is equal to t over 4000 psi i can rewrite the torque as 78.82 inch pounds divided by 4,000 pounds and I'm gonna put square inches on top now you can see I've got my pounds cancel out I get inches to the third and J over C yeah that should be inches to the third so this is going to be um, pi over 2 radius to the fourth divided by the radius or equal to pi over 2 r to the third equals 78.82 over 4,000 inches cubed r cubed equals 2 over pi 78.82 over 4,000 inches cubed equals calculator so clear 2 divided by 3.14 times 78.82 divided by 4000 enter 0 0.012655 but I'm rounding up to 6 and then I got to figure out cube root, which um, I really struggle with. But I can do y to the x, where x is equal to uh, 0.3333. Maybe I can't. Maybe I need to do this on my other calculator. That's really the pits, because this is, um, I'm working in H, the TI-84, and I've just never, ever, ever learned it that well. Um, oh, there you go answer raised to the power 0.333 it's just that little carrot i i know you guys are thinking well duh all right so that means that r 
equals 0.2324 inches, or my diameter is equal to 0.46 inches. So that should go to a half inch shaft. Which, honestly, is about the size of a uh, lawnmower shaft. They might be 5 eighths. But here's one of the assumptions that we made, and, and I hope I hope it's up there. It's not. And that is, one of the assumptions is that this torque is steady, and that's not the way the torque is off an internal combustion engine. The torque hits a peak at one spot, and then it decays and goes around. As my valves, in fact, I pull energy from the shaft, as I'm using the momentum to suck air into the cylinder for the next explosion. So it's a very pulsy, so, but, but there, anyway, there you go. So there's your answer. I hope that helps you out. And um, I hope the interruption in the middle, you didn't notice, I noticed it, but uh, be well. Don't worry, there's more to come. Why don't you guys keep asking me for uh, what the more to come should be? We'll do it.